candy and what, what was it? What about me cooking and all dough? that other stuff? <laughs> all right. All right, University of Maryland men's basketball team has hit the road with revenge. And it's mine. They look good against Illinois. The Terps are headed to Jersey now to try to pick back up back to back conference victories for the first time this season. WMAR 2 News Sean Stepner caught up with the team today. He's in College Park tonight. The time is now for the Terrapins to start stacking Big Ten conference wins. I feel like we're right there. Like, every day we get better. Maryland travels to Rutgers on Tuesday to face the same Scarlet Knight squad that rallied past them nine days ago. The Terps letting an 11-point halftime lead slip away en route to an 11-point loss. They're hoping to continue their recent rematch trend 2-0 when facing a team for a second time this season. Teams tend to get comfortable after beating you. Like, but like as the underdogs, we really have nothing to lose. So why not just, just attack them? We've shown that we're capable of playing with any team in this conference from tip to horn. We've got to maintain that same mindset. And they'll have to contain Ron Harper Jr. The senior guard poured in a career high 31 points in the first meeting between the two teams. The Terps are carrying momentum into Tuesday's game. They are coming off their best and most complete outing of the season. We're talking about Friday's win here at Xfinity Center over number 17, Illinois. Dante Scott with a career best 25 points in the 81-65 victory. Last game, we kind of needed me to like just put my will down on the court and just, uh, just do what I did last game. So... Uh, I'm just really uh, confident. With Dante's size, with his skill set, with his athletic ability, we feel like that's a tough cover for a lot of different teams. And he certainly um, had an outstanding game the last time out. So we want to see that continue to, to happen. Piscataway is the place for that continuation Tuesday at 8 p.m. In College Park, Sean Stepner, WMAR 2 News.